happening guys Chris here with Hooked on Alaska so today I'm doing something I've wanted to do for quite some time there's this little lake near me and I know it has giant rainbow trout uh, I ice fished it last winter and I was unsuccessful so today I figured eh, it's a nice close lake I'll go ahead and give it a shot so I'm gonna go out there and see if I can't catch me a 20 plus inch rainbow trout uh, see if I can catch one period uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna be having fish the lake ever so I'll get out there, give it a shot, and uh, who, who knows, maybe I'll slam, who knows, maybe I'll get skunk, but uh, either way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Let's get out here and see what we can do. This is a completely new lake to me. I don't fish it very often. I fished it, I think, once last winter, ice fishing. Didn't do too great. It's a really weird lake. I'd say probably 90% of this lake is five foot or less of water. So, I mean, it has its pros and cons. Rainbows, they like shallows, but they also like to be near a certain depth. You know, they, they like to hide in deeper water just because of uh, birds of prey and stuff like that. So they don't like to hang out in three foot of water too often because bird might swoop down and grab them. So. To kind of hang out, come in there in those shallow spots early in the morning and late in the evening and feed and then kind of sink back out to about five, eight foot throughout the day. So hopefully I can get in here and and find them and uh, get some trophy trout here. I know there's some giants in this lake, so we will see. But yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, guys. So today, I'm going to go ahead and start out with the number two Vibrex rainbow trout colored. We'll give this a shot. We'll see what they're wanting today. There we go. Fish on. First fish of the day. He don't feel that big. We'll see though. That is a good one. Wee -hoo! Look at that. Bigger than the big leg bow, that's for sure. I'll take it. So, I'll be releasing all the fish I catch today. I do keep fish and I do eat fish. I just, uh, I don't like putting them in the freezer. There we go. I don't like putting them in the freezer because they just go bad. So when I want to fish, I'll go out, I'll catch one and I'll cook it. But I got some fish, I got some salmon in the freezer right now. So all the fish I get today will be going back just to preserve the preserve the numbers here and give somebody else a chance to come out here and catch these fish again. All right, not a beast, but I'll take them. All right, man, that's a pretty looking rainbow, isn't it? Look at that head on them. Got a big old bull head on them. All right, stop, all right. Not a bad one. There he goes. All right, guys, we'll get another one here. Just working these lily pads a little bit. There's really not much structure in this lake, so if you get a lake that has very little structure, go ahead and find the structure and fish near. Oh, damn, I just lost one. Damn it. I wrapped my headphones up. Oh my gosh, I'm lucky I didn't rip my phone into the damn lake here. Holy smokes. 
All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Let me fix this mess. Make sure I don't have a fish. I don't have a fish. All right, we'll see you guys in a minute. So guys, I think one of the most important things when you're fishing these super shallow lakes is that you try to be as stealthy as you can. Try to stay out of the fishing holes, hit them from the outsides. So an area you're wanting to fish, be, you know, put your boat at a distance, your casting distance out from it. Because the last thing you want to do is float your boat right through the spots you're fishing. Because right now I'm only fishing about three to five foot of water, so this kayak rolling over there really bugs them out. Oh, I got me a baby. All right, buddy, come here. There you go. There we go. Right there. Shit, I gotta keep it tight. This rainbow is definitely capable of breaking my line. <laughs> Look at you, old boy. Look at you, old boy. I kind of rushed him in. I'm going to let him... Oh, he's spinning up now. Let's not let him do that. I'm going to scar this pretty fish up. Oh, shit. He's a mess. He's a mess. He's a mess now. I got him by the... All right. Let's get this old boy in. Yeah, you're right, buddy. Look at that rainbow! Oh, what a beauty! All right, let's get him undone. All right, you're right, buddy. Come on. There we go. Always pinch your barbs if you're trophy fishing. But tell me, that's not a beautiful rainbow right there. All right, let's get him back. Basically what I learned fishing this lake, like I said, this is the first time I've ever fished in open water. And I don't think I did too bad. I got two really nice fish, two fish that were about 16, 17 inches. And then I got one little guy, probably like eight, nine inches. But uh, yeah, what I have learned is that rainbows like shallow water. I went and I fished the deeper ends of this lake and I had absolutely no luck. I was fishing in about four foot of water and every single fish I caught came out of some kind of structure in shallow water. So I think it's, and but then, you know, also there's lots of very into that. You gotta be here early in the morning. Rainbows, they like to bite, you know, at sunset or uh, sunrise or sunset, you know? So once it hits about 10 o'clock in the morning, you're done. Might as well just wrap it up because they'll stop biting as well anyway. I mean, you might get lucky and catch one, but yeah, so shallow water early in the morning. Try to find some kind of structure. Start out with using littler lures. Like today, I was using number two Vibrex. I kind of been using this a lot lately, just because it's kind of got a little bit of finesse to it. I can still, it's still got enough weight to get it out there. There's a lot of different reasons why I'm using this lure, but uh, it seems to be working pretty good. And uh, yeah, the most important lesson of the day is you can't catch no fish unless you get out and go fishing. So, and also don't be afraid to try new lakes. Like I said, never fished this lake before. Just kind of threw a Hail Mary and it ended out well. So 